Well, hello again. In this example, you will examine two trusses for the purpose of determinacy classification. We will specifically look at these two trusses, needing to identify whether it's determinate, indeterminate, or unstable, and if it is indeterminate, indicate the degree of indeterminacy. We will start by identifying where the reactions are located, and then we will count up the number of members that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Go ahead and write that here. Number of members is fourteen. Number of reactions that we have is three. Let's go ahead and identify the number of joints that we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have joints equal to eight. And now we can look at the total number of equations of equilibrium that we've got. So that's 2j, and that is equal to 16. And the total number of unknowns we have, m plus r, that is equal to 17. And thus, we have number of equations is less than the number of unknowns. So we will get statically indeterminate to the first degree. We have identified it being statically indeterminate to the first degree, but we need to make sure that there are no collapse mechanisms and it's not externally unstable. So look at your reactions. They are not all concurrent and they are not all parallel, so it's not externally unstable. Then you also need to check and make sure that there are no collapse mechanisms. So you, essentially what you're scanning for is make sure that you are seeing triangles everywhere as long as you're seeing triangles everywhere, you shouldn't have a collapse mechanism. So let's look on to the next one here. We will look at our reactions, and then we will also count up the number of members we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've got M is equal to eleven, number of joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the number of reactions is 3. So you've got 2j is equal to 14. You've got m plus r is equal to 14. And what we would identify from that, at least from the equations, is we would say that it is statically determinate. But I will go ahead and put some question marks here and just make sure that we haven't violated any of the stability requirements. So look at your reactions. They are not all parallel. They are not all concurrent. So it, it's not externally unstable. But as you start to look at the truss itself, you will notice that there's one region of this where it does not form a triangle. Now, in and of itself, a region that is not a triangle is not explicitly a statement of instability, but it is a red flag for you to take a closer look and identify whether that is a collapse mechanism or not. If it is not obvious to you from observation as far as whether that is a collapse mechanism, you could do a quick check of equilibrium and just make sure that things would work out. And the way I would do that is I would take a look at this joint and make some assumptions as far as what those reactions are and see if it's possible to get equilibrium to work out up here if you do that. And what you will very quickly find is that you cannot get equilibrium to work out and thus we would conclude that it is unstable. That concludes this example. And remember, it's always a beautiful day to study structures.